Hello everyone, welcome back with AutoCAD basic floor plan tutorial for exercise number 5. First, uh, in it I will cut line. Okay, start from this point, move uh, to the bottom, you can set into 6000. And then, so you can uh, press center button to close and press middle mouse twice to use a uh, zoom extend. We cut line again, start from this point to the right here, 3000. Move uh, to the top, uh, 6000. And then you can click at this point. The next is a copy command to copy this line object so to the bottom. We can set into 1700. And then I will copy this line object to the right here. 1000. Okay. You can use a trim command to cut uh, this line object. And then I will copy this line to the top. We can set into 650 okay now you can use a join command to combine between these uh, lines and also in here we can combine so it will be changed into polyline the next use uh, offset command with uh, offset distance i will set into 150 and then i will uh, click at uh, these objects click inside the next we offset with offset distance 75 Okay, click this object to the top and to the bottom. Also, same at uh, this uh, lens object. Okay, you can select uh, middle lines and you can press delete button. The next, use uh, trim command to cut this uh, line. Okay, we cut again in it. And the next, at uh, this point. Okay. Now uh, we create uh, this uh, for uh, ground floor, and the next I will uh, copy these objects to the right here. I will select uh, these objects, press the button also in here. The next you can use a fill command. Don't forget to press shift button, hold, and click at this line also in here, so it will be automatically connect. And I will create line. Okay, you can sort at this point, move to the top. You can set into minus 2550 and click at this point. Use a uh, copy command to copy this object uh, to the bottom. We set into 150 and then use a trim command to cut this line object. Okay. Now I will insert for stair, you can click here, stair for floor plan, you can get uh, this block in uh, the downlink below this uh, video, okay, you can click at this point, and for uh, ground floor, I will click in here. Okay, the next, we can insert for window, you can click here, window, uh, but first I will insert for door, use a dynamic door in here. And I will click at this point. Next, I will mirror this uh, object to the right here. And then we can uh, move this object from this point. We can move into here. We can click this uh, door. And then I will uh, change size to the bottom here. The next for length in here, we set into 950. Okay, the next I will use uh, this uh, object, you can click it, we can rotate, and then I will change height into 950 and here into 150, move from this point into here. Okay, you can copy this object from this point and move into here. And also at this point. In it, I will change for door size into 700. Okay, and you can use a trim command to cut uh, in it. Also at this point, the next in uh, this point. Okay, I will uh, copy these objects to this point 50, and then you can use a trim command to cut this line object the next 
I will insert for window. Okay, you can click here window. Okay, I will place at this point window. Okay, you can copy this uh, window object from uh, this point. You can move into here. So in uh, middle points. The next is uh, this window block. Okay, I will put in it. And then for this window, I will set in uh, this point. Okay, you can move from middle point into here. And then I will copy to the right here. You can use a mirror command to mirror this object from middle point to the bottom. Okay, we already attached for window and door. So in here we attach again at this point. Okay. The next we can set for hatch into this floor pan. You can tap hatch, press enter. I will use NC31 and for scale I will set into 15. For color I will set into uh, this color okay, and you can click at this point. Okay, it will be automatically attached also in here. So it's already attached. Uh, sorry, ini I will undo. We insert hatch. And C31 change color into this color and you can attach in this area also in here. The next at this point, you can zoom in with scroll mode and click at this point. You can set for scale in here like into 10, so this for 10, and the next we can. Insert again H into this uh, floor plan. Okay, at this point. The next H, I will use uh, this tool solids for patterns and we can set into this uh, gray. Okay, I will attach in uh, this uh, region. Okay, now we can attach text into this floor plan. You can tap M text to use uh, multi line text. You can set in here. I will give name into living. Okay, you can select in here. This are too small for text, and you can set here for text hikes into 150. This 150 text hex, you can use a copy command to copy this text into here. Also at this point, and in here. Okay, in here I will set into bedroom. In here you also can set into like living, it's okay. And then in here we set into toilet. Click outset to apply. You also can change for text color, you can click and click here for color, I will set into the cyan. Now I will copy this uh, text objects into this point and then you can uh, double click to edit this text. You can set into this uh, bold and underline, I will set the name into floor plan. Floor plan DF. Okay, I will recess and then we copy again these objects into here. We can set the name into scale, like I will set it to 150 for scale. And you can resize in here. I will set into 80. So this for 80, you can move this text to the top here. Okay, you can copy these objects into this point. Next, uh, I will uh, move in here. 
okay and then we'll set the name into first floor ff so we can insert dimension into this uh, floor plan uh, but first i will move these objects to the bottom a bit and then we can tap d to open a dimension style manager i will list annotative and click a set current click modify for uh, primary units i will set precision into zero and for text i will i use iso and vertical change into center for offset dim green i will set into two okay in here for text color into sign next you can click a symbol arrows i will change into architectural text for arrows shape and our size is okay and i will set in here none lines in here i will set for color into red okay in here into red or you can change into orange okay, this color orange also in here into orange and then for offset from origin i will set into full click ok and close so you can use a uh, dim line to create a dimension linear you can create i will change unit scale into 150 because we use a notation scale click ok and i will click stop from corner point into here okay the next use a uh, dim line again from this point use mid between two points so you can click from this point into here okay and then i will move from this point into here we use a dim line again dimension linear into here you can set uh, mid between two point okay click in here the next move uh, from this point into here and then we use a uh, dim linear into this point okay what again from this point into here the next in the top here we grab from this point don't forget to use a uh, mid between two point you can press middle mouse sorry press shift and uh, right click to use snap option okay you can uh, grab again dimension linear from this point into here the last from this corner point into corner point okay in uh, the left here from this point into here use uh, mid between two point press shift button and right click you can see the option for using snap i will move again okay the last dimension linear from this corner point you can move into this corner point okay we already attach a dimension into this first uh, layer and for uh, the second layer in it we create again is a dim line dimension linear or you can copy these objects okay you can click also in here click and add uh, these objects you can select and you can use a uh, copy command okay you can uh, co press io copy i will move from this point into here Okay, so it will be more easy and fast. We create a dim line again, set from this point. In here, I use a mid win between two points. We can click stuff from this point into here. Okay, and then we can move from this point into this point. The next, we use a dim line from this point to the top here the next from corner point into corner point into corner point 
k in the top from this point into here and then in here you can move okay i will use mid between two points from this point into here and then click in here the last use a dimension linear from this point into here okay now we already create this uh, simple floor plan for exercise number six with autocad software and if you have any question about this tutorial you can comment below this video